Hey everybody, this is Jason Krause, Facility Director here at Trinity Fitness Colorado Springs and I'm here to help you with Thursday's demo. So Thursday's going to start with a skill. It is a core skill. You're going to accumulate a five minute plank, five minute plank. So this is going to be a, a low or a high plank. We're gonna go ahead and put it as a high plank here. So shoulders, hips and ankles in a line. Okay, uh, palms right beneath shoulders, and your core should be tight, you should be sucking your belly button into your spine, head is neutral. Shouldn't be sagging for piking, okay? So nice uh, uh, shoulders, hips, and angles, maintain that hollow body. How long will it take you to do a five minute plank? Well, the lowest amount of time is gonna be five minutes, but if you need to rest a minute or 30 seconds or even 10 seconds, that's what you're gonna record. So you're gonna say it took me five minutes and 45 seconds to get a five minute plank, or it took me 10 minutes to get a five minute plank. And then the battle guys is called four leaf clover. We're going to do an AMRAP, as many reps as possible in 28 minutes. So basically this is going to be two minutes of box jumps into two minutes of push ups, into two minutes of sit ups, into two minutes of kettlebell swings. That's eight minutes. You're gonna do a two minute rest, that's 10 minutes. Do it again, another 10 minutes, do it again, and that's another eight minutes. So the 28 minutes is gonna be filled with uh, 24 minutes of work. Now, during that two minutes of box jumps, you might have to rest in there, or you might have to, you might just take it at a pace that you can keep moving, or you might go 20 seconds hard, 10 seconds off, and do four rounds of Tabata. Completely up to you what you do with your two minutes. The goal is to get as many reps as possible. Keep a notepad nearby so that you can pencil down roughly how many reps you get of each movement in the two minutes of allotted time, okay? So for the box jumps, half step behind the box, jump up, step down. If you don't have that, you're gonna be doing knees to chest jumps. And if you can't pull that high, just jump and pull those knees up as high as you can. So for two minutes, you're just doing that. Then we got two minutes of push-ups. Starting with your body on the ground, shoulders, hips, and ankles in a line, head neutral, elbows tucked into the side. Push up until you're almost locked out. Lower down until your uh, chest touches the ground. You can also do this with the box. So elevate your push up. Once you are no longer able to do them on the ground, either rest a little bit or elevate it to something higher. Two minutes of sit ups. You're gonna do butterfly sit ups. Reaching forward, touching your toes in front. Again, how many reps can you get in two minutes? Make sure with your sit-up, say you're sitting all the way up until your shoulder's in front of your hips, so this is not a sit-up. Okay, looking to make sure that your shoulder doesn't stop here, but that you sit all the way up for you to count as a rep. And then Russian kettlebell swings. We've got a heavy kettlebell here. You're gonna hike the kettlebell. Hike the kettlebell back and then stand tall. Okay, we've got um, the kettlebell is half step in front of us. Hips are low, chest is high. We're gonna start by hiking the kettlebell back and then using hip drive to get the kettlebell up in the air. We're looking at having loose elbows, so we shouldn't have them straight and we shouldn't have them locked in like a T-Rex. We wanna have them out here. Uh, sh elbows should come almost up to the shoulders as we do the kettlebell swings. Okay, so how many kettlebell swings can you get? If you don't have a kettlebell, go ahead and do jump squats. Okay, how many jump squats can you get in two minutes? So every single time you're gonna work for two minutes, you're gonna roll it right into the next two minutes. Take a moment to go ahead and jot down your reps each round, and then you're gonna record the total amount of reps that you got for all the movements and for each movement together. So I uh, look forward to seeing your results. Hope you're having a great week. See ya.